Hello, I'm Son from the workshop here at Dogs Music. Um, I'd like to talk to you a bit about tech cork. So a lot of you will use natural cork for a lot of the uh, regulation heel corks on woodwind instruments. Um, you might have found that over time it can compress under the strength of a spring or even just sitting around for a bit. Cork can also split. Um, and uh, in a way, being a natural material, it has a bit more movement to it. So I'm going to talk to you today about tech cork, which is still made from particles of cork glued together in a rubber form. So you still get the springiness of cork, but less compression, less wear, and it doesn't scuff as easily. Um, the problem with tech cork has always been that it doesn't sand very well. But Music Medic has now come up with the solution of giving you 14 different sizes in a pack. So you always have the size that you need for the right job. Uh, we've found all the different thicknesses are actually useful for their specific uses. The thinnest one is thin enough to use for uh, oboe regulation corks, uh, where you often have a screw that's sitting onto uh, a material and is easily compressed or easily scuffed. This uh, material keeps really stable and it's dense enough to not be ripped up by a screw. The thick ones can be used for regulation corks for sax regulation screws, for instance. Um, and with all these different thicknesses, there's no limit to what you can use them for, really. It's also useful in the brass trade, where we often use this as uh, padding underneath soldering wire or under clamps or anything that needs a bit of extra padding between it. Um, and it's all around very versatile material. I thought I'd just show you how the compression changes on between the natural cork and the tech cork. I have a piece of 1.6 natural cork here. I'm just going to give it a good squeeze with my parallel pliers. Just give you that idea of how it con can compress. And over time, the pressure onto the cork will leave it compress uh, forever. It doesn't always bounce back. You actually get an indentation where my pliers have been. If I have the same thickness of uh, tech cork, you can still see here, you've got the cork inside it, but because it's encased in this rubber, it has much more durability to it. And the rubber will always bounce back. So by giving it a good squeeze, there's almost no give to it. It still has the silent uh, movement of cork having these small pieces of cork in it, but it still always bounces back and you can have no marks from my pliers at all. Uh, all in all, uh, we found it's a very, very useful material. Um, and uh, it's been a game changer in getting really regulation corks that are really stable, keep their regulation, but we can also use it on uh, key corks and areas where they're easily scuffed. For instance, on the long B flat link of a clarinet, it's a notoriously hard cork to keep, uh, keep in one piece. The tech cork on here will give that extra bit of um, hardness to it so it doesn't scuff when assembled. Um, another example is also on joints that have a levering motion uh, where cork, that's natural cork, can easily compress and start digging into it, making a sticking. Uh, but with the tech cork, uh, you always have this uniform surface that doesn't compress at all with use. Um, all in all, we found it's a really versatile material, both for woodwind and for brass uses. And it's now available at dorks.co.uk.